have the left and the right lobes of the liver and um, they're super large because they hold the oil that gives the shark part of its buoyancy and then this right here um, is the gallbladder. gallbladder and then there's a tube that runs from the gallbladder down the length of the body Okay, so food enters the shark through the mouth, then travels through the esophagus, then to the stomach, and right there, and then finally through intestines and out the mouth. Okay, so if we look at the digestive tract internally, it enters through the mouth right there, it travels down the esophagus, and then after the esophagus, it goes into the stomach, right in there, and from there it goes into the intestines, which is really like, <laughs> I can't open it, right in there, and then finally travels from the intestines and out the anus. <laughs> right there and it functions to secrete digestive enzymes for the shark and then the spleen is right here and it's part of the lymphatic system but also functions to store red and white blood clots. So right here you can see the different gill slits. Sharks have five. And then moving in over here from the gill slits, you go into the gill pouches. Um, and then in here are the gill breakers, all those different little things. Uh, and then the things that separate the different gill pouches are called branchial bars. And then like all other things, fish, the shark has gill filaments. So on the bottom, it looks like there's about two rows of teeth, one in front of the other. On the top, it looks closer to be one or two or three, right there. And then the tongue, it has very little muscle and it can barely move and it feels a little bit like sandpaper. Okay, so right here we have the ovaries. You can see the eggs and there's one on the underneath side also. And then this tube that runs down here is the oviduct goes all the way down to the uterus, which is this pouchy like thing on the back here. Okay, so right here is the shark brain. Um, the forebrain should be this upper part towards the front. Um, the the midbrain is this part here in the middle, and then the hindbrain is way in the back of the shark. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the shark guy right here. Um, the sporella is this white part right there that you can't see too well. Um, the iris is this pigmented part around that part of the eye. The pupil is right in the middle, the darkest part. Um, and then the retina is this like gray membrane stuff that covers the eye. Um, and then the optic nerve connects with the optic lobe of the membrane.